Chapter 203 Breaking into the Spirit Gate 2 Wan Zilian was curious. It's a cultivation technique suitable for eunuchs. It can turn a man into a woman. Song Shi smiled cheekily. That's a little similar to the beautiful moon demonic technique of the Yao Moon Palace. Wan Zilian understood immediately. The Yao Moon Palace has such a technique. Song Shi was surprised. Yes, I heard that not long ago. A person who cultivated this technique died, inexplicably, in the Yao Moon Palace. Because she was actually a man, everyone discussed this for a few days. Wan Zilian nodded. Actually, it's not just the Yao Moon Palace. Sky Demon Cult also has it. This kind of technique is even more bizarre than the ghostly path techniques I cultivate. Song Shi interrupted. Wait, what did you say the name of the dead one was? An elder called Dao Slu Yu. Her her. This person once had some emotional ties with the guardian of Sky Demon Cult. The most important part is that they were both men in the beginning, so it was a good story to gossip about back then. It's a pity that no matter how pure a relationship is, it can withstand time. Wan Zilian laughed strangely and said with interest. He saw that Sancha's expression was a little off, what's wrong? Do blood-robed elder know of them? Her her, we are more than just acquaintances. Sancha shook his head fearfully. Fortunately, he did not dual cultivate with that old woman back then. Otherwise, he would lose his reputation. Wan Zilian began to chatter nonstop until they arrived at the bottom of the ghost pit. We've arrived at the entrance to the spirit land. Wan Zilian suddenly stopped. In the fog, an underground river appeared, emitting a strange green light. This is the ghost river that leads to the spirit land. The location of the light source is the entrance. Wan Zilian pointed at the end of the long river. A blurry domain of light was fluctuating with the river and some spirits were entering and exiting. That's interesting. Song Shi stared at the river for a moment before lowering his body and touching it with his hand. Swoosh! It was as if he had touched sulfuric acid. The terrifying corrosive power melted his magic barrier. At this moment, Song Shi felt like he was a raging fire meeting ice. The two extreme powers quickly neutralized each other. This is the Ghost River. Only ghosts and evil spirits can enter. Wan Zilian stood at the side and explained. He wanted to see if Song Shi dared to go down, but a hand grabbed him. Go and try. He was thrown into the river by Song Shi. Plop, with sound of falling into the water, Wan Zilian fell into the strange river in a sorry state. A bone chilling power surged over. Wan Zilian almost cursed. The cold power made a layer of white frost appear on his body. He hurriedly formed a seal and a circle of nomological power surged out to block the power in the water. It seems like nothing has happened. It can't kill me. Song Shi looked at the light source in the water and jumped in. He quickly swam over. It looked very close, but in fact, the light source was very far away. The nearby ghosts did not seem to be affected by the water. Instead, it was him, a living person, whose magic power was being quickly consumed. After diving for about half a minute, Song Shi came to the light source. The space here was distorted, and there was a huge spatial crack. In the crack was a water door engraved with cold runes, inside stood a bull-headed ghost. Ox head. Sanchi was stunned. This was the first time he had seen such a ghost. In front of the spirit gate, the living shall stop. The ox head buzzed as it stared coldly at Sanchi. Let the ghost I am looking for come out, then I won't go in, Sanchi said coldly. Human, this is not how you look for ghosts. Bang. With a low collision sound, the bull-headed figure was immediately sent flying by Sanchi in a sorry state. It only stopped after falling for more than a hundred meters. Are all the ghosts guarding the door so confident now? Can't you see that I'm stronger than you? Why are you still so pretentious? Sanchi landed in front of the ghost door. He looked at the space inside and walked in without hesitation. Sanchi's vision distorted, and the sense of space became chaotic for a moment. Then. He arrived at a green space. So green. Sanchi looked up in surprise. The space here was very large. It looked similar to the outside. There were mountains and rivers, but the sky was green, like a ghost fire. A green sun floated. The grass and trees that were visible to the naked eye did not have any vitality. Instead, they were filled with a lifeless aura. The ground was filled with bones and blood rigors flowed. It looked like hell. Here. Sanchi felt as if his soul was about to float out and fly towards the green sun in the sky. Human, 
Aren't you afraid that your soul will dissipate if you dare to barge into the spirit gate? Oxhead got up angrily and questioned. That depends on whether I have the ability to withstand it. However, it's more likely that it'll let your soul dissipate first. Song Shi looked at Wang Zilian proudly. Tell me which Ghost King it is. Well go and find him directly. Demon King Kai Huo, Wang Zilian replied. Aren't the people of the Heavenly Ghost sect a little too arrogant now? How dare they barge in without permission? A black shadow appeared and stared at Song Shi with a cold smile, revealing steel-like teeth. Behind this black shadow were two ghostly figures. One had a scarlet tongue and the other had a long neck, like a snake. Amidst the wild shrieks and howls, a group of demons and monsters appeared. They were wearing special armor and were all staring at them with hostility. Of course, in the eyes of these guys, there were still some who were greedy and wanted to eat them. Mu Kan, don't be so agitated. We're only here to look for a ghost, not to fight with you. Wan Zilian hurriedly explained. Now that he had been forcefully dragged to him by San Chi, he had actually broken the rules of tacit understanding between the Heavenly Ghost sect and the Spirit Land. Corp Stitcher, cut the crap, today, either you get out of here immediately or you die here. He was the person in charge of guarding the entrance to the Spirit Land, so he naturally could not let anyone in. Come, if you don't kill me today, it'll kill you. San Chi grinned. He was deliberately being impolite because he wanted to provoke someone to kill him. You sure talk big? Mukin raised his hand. His sharp nails were exceptionally long. When he held them slightly, they were like steel knives. He walked towards Song Shi with a cold expression. Wan Zilian tactfully retreated, giving both sides room to fight. Die. A cold light flashed under Mukan's hand. His nails carried terrifying destructive power. With a sway of his feet, he arrived in front of Song Shi in the blink of an eye and stabbed at his eyes. Facing the abnormally fast claws, Song Shi was slightly surprised. This fellow was only at the level of a ghost king. Why did he feel like he couldn't stop him in time? If it were someone of the same level as him, he would probably have suffered a loss on the spot. He looked at the sneer on the other party's lips. A golden bell-like energy shield appeared on his body. With a near-piercing friction sound, the ghost claw cut marks on the shield. San Chi was deep in thought. It's not that has fast, it's just that my reaction speed has slowed down. There's something wrong with this space. He sensed that his soul and body, were affected by a force and, became incompatible. He immediately visualized the moon, and his spiritual strength condensed into one. As the white light between his eyebrows lit up, a light flashed in his eyes. He grabbed the ghost claw and exerted strength. Crack! The black ghost claw with sharp nails was broken on the spot with a ban. A fire dragon sent Mukan, who had lost an arm, fly. Half of his body was shattered by the power of the dragon subduing palm. San Shi looked at Mukan, who was injured but not bleeding. The latter's body was illusory and was slowly fusing. Without a physical body, you won't be able to beat him up. This made Wan Zilian subconsciously cover his chest and sigh in his heart. How did a blood path demonic cultivator become a body tempering cultivator who used brute force for no reason? Mukan's spirit body was injured, but his attitude did not change much. Instead, he pretended to be fierce, but he was weak inside. Do you know that you've already violated the agreement between the spirit land and the outside world? A deal with Wam. Sanchi pursed his lips, I didn't agree to it. Get lost. He casually threw out a fireball and it exploded with a bang, causing the other ghosts guarding the door to escape. No one dared to take him head on. The seemingly large number of ghosts were dispersed by Song Shi in the blink of an eye. Song Shi forcefully stepped into this unique space. Many divine thoughts probed over and found that it was a living person who had barged into the spirit gate. Many of them were surprised. Who is this person? How dare he cause trouble in the spirit land? You're quite arrogant, human. I'll slay you later and taste your blood. The high-level ghosts living in this space were hostile to Song Shi. 